Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher and today I'm going to show you how to color grade a stylized look um, with these Blackmagic 4K Ursa Mini RAW 3 to 1. So if you don't know what RAW 3 to 1 is, basically RAW 3 to 1 is a compressed version of RAW that gives you the flexibility of RAW, so changing certain settings like white balance, ISO, and more dynamic range, but you're dealing with smaller files than a compressed RAW, which is huge. Alright, so let's get into it. So this is a clip here, you can see the rails and the stand are over on the side, so we took that out in VFX. But these are two upcoming short films on my YouTube channel, which if you're not subscribed to my other YouTube channel, go subscribe there and check out some of the films I've done. Um, we have a lot more cool ones coming soon, so check that out. So first we're going to go down here to the camera raw. Now beforehand this was on project, so what I'm going to do is you're going to click on that, <clears throat> click on clip, and then now this allows us to change the white balance based on the clip. So before it was as shot, now you can tell we shot a little bit off, so it was a tiny bit warm, plus this light was gelled. So I'm going to do, um, I know that that light was tungsten balanced, so I'm going to change it to tungsten. It gives me a little more flat, generic look to work with. And of course, I could always change my ISO if I wanted to, but I like that. Um, you know, we could do highlight recovery, but either way, for now, we're just going to leave it pretty much the same other than changing our white balance a little bit. So let's jump over here to our color wheels. Now my scope's up here to make this full screen. So we're just going to, we just have our first node here. And if you don't know what nodes are, they're basically like layers. That's the easiest way to explain it and the simplest way to explain it. So we're just going to have one node here, make this bigger. So we're going for this really like sci-fi pushed stylized grade. So I'm going to do on this first node is kind of do just a basic correction. I'm going to bring my saturation up to about 64. Now I don't want my highlights to be too high. I want this to be a pretty dim shot, but I'm bringing my mids up just a hair and then bring those down. Let's see. I like bringing the lift all the way, uh, you know, very far down. So that way we're really blacked out here. So things that are black are completely black and they're very dark, very high contrast, especially in this stylized grade where the mid-tones, you know, in here where it's not supposed to be too dark are still, you know, preserved. All right. So this looks pretty good to me on the contrast and saturation. So this would basically be a Rec. 709, um, you know, color space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Alt S to make a new node. Now I just did that. I'm going to zoom out just so you can see these. So now in this new node, we're going to kind of work with the style and the and the color and the look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to drag this shadow down to this heavy green. Now that looks a little over the top, but we're going to change that in a minute. So I want the the shadows and the mid tones. Mid tones going to push a little more towards yellow, and these highlights. We'll do the highlights kind of blue. Now you may say this looks insane, that's way too too much. So instead of bumping down our overall saturation down here, we're gonna leave that the same. We're gonna go make sure we're in the curves panel, custom, uh, luma versus saturation. Now what this does, this tells the colors that wherever I choose to desaturate will be in the lumas, in you know, in the light value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this bottom right down there. So in theory, this means that only the 100% of our luma value, our highest whites, are fully saturated. Now we don't want that. So I'm going to click a point, and I'm going to drag it up until I see that I like something right about here. So what this is doing is saying that anything in the shadows are going to be very desaturated. So what that helped us do is take away that really, really saturated green in the shadows, making our blacks have a green tint instead of our blacks being pure blacks, but our shadows, you know, in, in this area having a green hint to it. And of course, I kind of want the whole saturation to be a little bit down anyway. So that's not too bad. Let's make another node on top of that. And in this node, I might want to, again, Alt S, might want to add back a little more into his skin. So let's uh, whoops, we're going to actually go back. We're going to click Alt S and then Alt L. So that's going to make, I can never remember the name, it's considered a layer node. Um, and I'll kind of show you how that works. So Alt S, Alt L, and that makes how we're going to do qualifying. So I'm going to jump in. I'm going to grab the qualifier here, click on his skin tone. Now, if I click Shift H, I can see just what I'm selecting. So let's kind of. 
widen that, bring that about there, and then we're gonna, ooh, that's a little far. Let's try to widen that just a little bit. So I'm just gonna, really you just gotta mess with these parameters and parameters until you see pretty much what you want. So that's about what we're gonna get. Now I'm gonna go over here to the blur radius. I'm gonna blur that quite a bit. And I'm just gonna switch over here on my scopes, the waveform to the vector scope. And uh, let's make this a little more intense. So now this is our skin tone right here. And this is our actual skin tone indicator. So as you can see, we are way off. So what we're gonna do is let's just try and see moving this. Cause his skin tones are So somewhere around there is technically a proper skin tone. Now this may look weird, but we're just gonna try it and see. Yeah, see that looks kind of strange. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna blur that a little more, but I'm gonna bring the saturation down on that. And bring it just a tad back. So to me, something like that looks a little bit nice. See, we still get this green tone, but his skin isn't so natural looking where because obviously the light is supposed to be green there's supposed to be this you know massive green hint to everything so we don't want everything to be way off but again we don't want his skin to be too perfect this is probably a little bit too perfect but i kind of like it i think it looks cool um all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna click on this top layer again and i'm gonna do alt s alt l or actually no excuse me i'm sorry we're actually gonna click on this layer mixer, double click on that, then click Alt S, Alt L. So that will add one after again. Now what we're gonna do is let me just organize these so you can see them a little better. So right now we're going to make a vignette. And what that's gonna do is, so I'm gonna go in here to our window, click on the circle, and I'm gonna make it just about probably like that we're gonna grab this and pull that to feather it out so if we click shift H again you can see what we're selecting now I'm gonna click back to the curve so that thing goes away now I'm gonna click on this top layer here so we've selected this out of that now what that means is when I pull down the midtones and the uh, uh, shadows you can see that it made a vignette it kept these luma values the same bringing down the area around it. So it's kind of nice because we get a little more of a, a vignette contrasty look and it helps us you know, focus our attention on our character here. So if we turn all these off, we can kind of see where we came from. All right, so this is our raw image and so we added that kind of basic grade then we added that nice green tint. Then we brought back the skin tone so they look a little more natural, and then we added that vignette in the end. So to me, that is an awesome stylized grade. Um, I think that looks really cool, and I think that's pretty much the look that we wanted. So we're going to go on to another kind of really funny looking clip here. This is of a demon, and as you can see, he is laughing. Now, this shot is actually a VFX shot. This shot will be put underneath a bed. So in order to make that blend, because under the bed is blackness. So what I wanted to do, actually we're gonna hop over a different clip of that, this one right here. What I wanted to do is put them on a black background so that way we can just kind of fade it out and not have to use a green screen and do all that. So let's show you how we do that. We're gonna jump back in our uh, camera raw settings. We're gonna do clip. Now again, I know this was shot in a tungsten. So we're gonna give it, takes a little bit of the edge off. Now this is gonna be a really stylized look. So we're going to go to our color wheels, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to bring up those highlights so they are nice and bright. And we're going to bring those mid-tones down, and we're going to bring those shadows way down. I don't want to see too much of, you know, I want them to kind of fade off. So I think that's pretty good for now. I'm going to bring the saturation up to about 68. So we can see this kind of gives us a nice bright image where we want it to. I want this underlit, you know, look. We're going to click Alt-S. And now this is where we're gonna start adding our extreme grade. Now because this is this demon creature, I want him to be this very red light. Now we didn't have a red gel. So in order to kind of fake this, and again, this works for pretty much the shot that we did, we're gonna bring those mid-tones way up to red. 
those highlights way up to red and those shadows way up to red. Now you may say well, that looks horrendous and of course it does. So we're going to click Alt S. We're going to go back into the Luma saturation here in the curves panel. Drag that on down and we're going to bring that up just like that. Now I like that. That looks a lot better and that's kind of that look we want where everything looks like it's red and he's in this you know demon pit here. So I'm going to make another layer, and I'm going to drop the shadows even more. And I think I'm going to bring the mid-tones up a tad, though. So we get a little more detail in his face and a little less in the background. And the last thing I'm going to do is uh, Alt-S, Alt-L. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a vignette. So we're going to go back here, same concept as before. And this shape's going to be just a little bit different, a little bit lower. Feather that out. And then we're going to drop those mid-tones just to make sure that he is truly in complete black. So that's really cool. Now we get this really cool kind of, you know, demonic look for this guy. Again, we had a, you know, we didn't have a red gel, so it was nice. We kind of made that red gel um, right here, and that's a super, super stylized grade. So anyway, I think that's awesome. Those are two, uh, like I said, very stylized grades and how we did those. But it's also a nice little look at the raw uh, 4K workflow. Um, make sure when you're using, uh, when you're shooting, or, you know, editing these raw uh, clips, especially because they're 4K, make sure that you're using optimized media if available. That way it'll make optimized media, and that way you're not editing massive 4K clips. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was really easy to follow. And um, again, I'm going to do a lot more uh, grading videos soon. So if you have any requests for certain videos or any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe, and don't forget to subscribe to my other YouTube channel to wait for some of the shorts coming out soon. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and have a good one.